Hello everyone, this is Prashant Chaudhary. I welcome you all to my channel Classy Power App. In this video, we'll be discussing about the Dataverse audits. In this video, we'll simply see how we can actually enable the audits, the different settings of the audits, and the retention period, setting the retention period for the audits. Okay, so audit means whenever the admin would like to trace what user is doing what. That type of tracking would be done from this feature as this feature create logs for each activity and what is going on in the environment. Okay, so just because of this reason, there would be a generation of data in bulk. So that data also needs to be deleted sometimes. So just because of this reason, we have the one more feature that is the retention period of these audits. Okay, so let's see how we can actually enable then the different settings of audits later we'll see we see how we can actually set the retention period okay so i'm just heading you to my power platform screen okay so in order to enable this feature first you should have the admin privilege of your environment so right now i have this so i just need to go to this gear icon and need to come to the admin center once I come to my admin center, here I need to simply select my environments in which environment I like to add this audits. So I select my environment. Once I click on this environment, here I can see I have the setting at the top navbar. I click on this settings, and here there's the option of audits and logs. Okay, so we'll simply open this, and here we have the audit setting once there's a small dialog for the feedbacks okay let's do it later now we simply click on this audit setting and here from where we can simply enable the audits so that our system start logging for each and every activity whatever is going on from the user side okay we, we have to simply enable this audit log access this log access means it would simply create the log for the users whenever they are signing in or signing out okay that type of log would also be created from this okay and here we have the retention period like your audit would be uh, stored in the system for how long after that period all logs would be automatically deleted okay so there we have around five to seven period and you can also set your period as well in days but it should be greater than 30 days okay so that's how you can see if i made this as 30 days and i simply please need to click on this save setting now my system has start creating logs of all the activities what is going on okay now we'll simply see what are the different settings that are there for the audits we come to the setting again and here if i expand this i have this audit summary view from where the admin can actually see the different logs okay entity and the field audit setting it means if there is any modification done by any user on any entity of the field of any entity that type of audit will also be created that type of log will also be created okay so here is this complete summary if i click this i can see right now i can see i like at 320 my system time is 320 itself Prashant change the audit setting then like this type of event has triggered okay if you'd like to go know more about this here i can see the complete uh, small description about this audit okay simply close this i need to just close this and we here we have the entity like on which entity you would like to track the activities of the users okay so once you click on this here you have the all the list of the entity that can be used to create the logs okay so you can use as per your need okay so right now i'm just coming here and so this is from where you can simply enable and setting the retention periods okay so that is all for this video everyone because this the aim of this video is just to enabling and the small settings for audits and the retention period okay so thanks for watching this video everyone so thank you if you have any queries please write to me on the in the comment section or you can contact me over my linkedin okay so thank you so much thank you